Never had to tell him is one of those places that seems to change every time you come here. There's a building or two added, or something has changed around because I haven't decided how the whole thing is going to play out yet. So, since your last visit, there's been a few things added. I've actually got a street now, <laughs> Station Road, that's got buildings in it. <laughs> Obviously I've got no roadway down to speak of, but it's beginning to look a bit like a road now. And um, I'm going to try slowly panning back so that you can come up along the street with me. And now I'm going to do a bit of an aerial view. hope my hands keep still today. There's not a lot we can do about it with a blooming heart problem. But you'll see there's some new things have arrived. We've got a police station. And we've got a model shop. You knew we had a bank, so that's no surprise. And a supermarket, but look what we've got here now. We've got a laundrette. And the most important building. Younger generation wouldn't know what one of these was. Look, get it right, wouldn't know what one of these was. It's an off license. Remember those? <laughs> And as we go round the corner, miraculously the bus station has moved, and so has the fire station. Because if we look along the street from this way, oops, excuse me, you will see tucked in there, we've got Postman Pat and his van. And a, and a bakery there, that's been stuck there for a couple of hundred years or so. A lovely bakery. And over on this side, we have a beautiful little building. Pratt's General Stores. That's a nice building, isn't it? Looks quite nice from the back, too. So there we have it. That's... Uh, a broad idea of how the streets gonna look I've got a few other buildings these ones they're all original scaled out from the very first couple of years 20 odd years or so ago when they first introduced them um, there are other buildings now which are almost identical but with different R numbers I didn't buy a single one of these new and uh, I probably wouldn't lose any money if I decided to sell them now, to be quite honest with you, because I've got all the boxes, and the boxes are all in storage. Sad man that I am. Um, but anyway, there you are. That's Station Road. Never hard to tell him. Now, I'm sure you've all seen more than enough of Station Road and Never hard to tell him. So, <clears throat> on this video, it's time to get back to an unboxing and uh, today we're going on a teddy bears picnic <laughs> I'll tell you why in a moment but I'm sure an awful lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about because today I'm going to unbox this little beauty here now diesel hydraulics of the western region are my out and out favorite diesels and this is probably my favourite of all of them. Can't quite decide it's between this and the Class 52 Western. But uh, anyway, here we go. This is the Class 14, made by Helgen for Hattons of Liverpool. I have had it fitted with a DCC chip, though again, because it's a relatively early model, there's no sound or anything that goes with it. Well, not as far as I know, anyway. <laughs> we'll find out. I think I've only ever... Um, 
I've only ever done, you know, put it on the track and run it once, so hopefully it'll behave itself this time. So let's get down to it and unbox it, shall we? <clears throat> right, there's the packaging. If I can put it, get it in shot, there we are. Standard packaging, you know the drill. Here we go. Let's take this out, shall we? <laughs> Sometimes you need a university degree to work out how to get into these damn things. Has anybody got a university degree that they can lend me? There we go. Now let's try and work out where I am for the camera. Is it still on? No, we're all right. Look at that little beauty. Isn't she lovely? This is a diesel hydraulic. There were 55 of them built at Swindon Works in 1964. They're supposed to have been designed as a, a medium shunting locomotive and for branch line freight duties. But of course all that work was disappearing as soon as they were built. Um, they're fitted with a Paxman engine and a voice hydraulic transmission. We've got one on the Kent and East Sussex Railway and it's a lovely, lovely machine. But why Teddy Bear? Now, so the story goes... And I've absolutely no reason to disbelieve it. When the, the uh, man in charge of Swindon Works was given the order for 55 of these locos, he's reported to have shook his head and said something like, I don't know, we built the great bear in this works and now I've got to build a teddy bear. And so these became known as teddy bears. And as I said to you earlier, because the type of work for which they were designed was tailing off, every single one of them was sold by British Railways within five years. They had very short work in life, but in the industrial railways, they couldn't wait to get what were almost brand new locomotives, and they'd done many, many years' service in collieries and factories and things like that, and now there are quite a few preserved around the country if you care to go looking for them. So... That's that, and uh, of course what you want to do is see it running, so I'll get it set up and I'll be back shortly. Well, there she is. Like I said, there's no fancy bells and whistles on this one. Again, it's one of the very early ones that uh, just had DCC chips fitted. I, have, I don't buy every locomotive with all the bells and whistles, simply haven't got enough money. And then, of course, I have to keep them in storage because you can't have them in the house. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look and see her running, shall we? It's quite responsive to the controls. Nice and slowly away. Which I did have sound fitted to it, to be honest with you. None of my hydraulics have got sound, much to my dismay. Maybe one day I'll buy a brand new version of one of these older ones. Get a good win on the premium bombs. <laughs> she is a lovely smooth runner, isn't she? say they only lasted five years there we go change direction
What a lovely piece of kit. Perhaps I should call it Eartha. Eartha kit. Anyway, there we are. There is my model of a teddy bear. Class 14 diesel hydraulic. As usual, I didn't quite get it in the right place. Sorry these two railway videos have been rather short. I've been suffering from time constraints and been to Scotland in between. Hopefully better service will be resumed next time. That's if I've still got any viewers left. So take care of yourselves and bye for now.